This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Caleb, first things first, uh, can you explain just what happened on Saturday? Talk about the game a little bit. Yeah. Um, you know, to be honest, I had a different feeling um, until we watched the film yesterday. Um, I really think that we just beat ourselves. Um, it was a certain time in the game when they were hitting shots, but we didn't do anything to stop that. Um, they continued to get open shots, and we didn't stop it, even though they were going in. It's, you're probably going to make it if you're open. Um, and I, So I think for us, it, it, we took a step back, but then we also took a step forward the way we fought back and, and came back in the game. Obviously, this is the time period where you want to be playing your best basketball yeah. in March. Um, despite the loss on Saturday, do you feel like this team is on – the right path to playing the, the best basketball in this month? Yeah, I think we're playing the best uh, we've played at in a while, actually, the past six or so games. Um, it just so happened that they got off to a hot start um, in the last game. And I think for us, the way we played and, and rallied back, I thought that was some of our best basketball we played. What was the message in order if, you know, you guys get out to a late start in yep. another game? What's the message in order to not let that kind of defeat you guys too quickly? Yeah, just a belief. Uh, I think that that was something that we had in the huddle. Um, whenever they were up big, it's just have belief, know that we're going to come back and win. And then when you saw the the belief and the spirit that we knew that we had a chance to win the game at the end in the in the second half, I think that it all just came from the coaches telling us to just keep believing and keep fighting. Hey, to have the entire tournament here, assuming mm -hmm. you keep winning, I know that's a great thing to play at home, but you can't take anything for granted. You mm -hmm. guys go on the road last year to Lipscomb and yeah. win in the final. Can you just sort of speak to that? Yeah, every game is different, and every game is going to be hard. Uh, that's how tournament games are, so we got to take each game one game at a time. And, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's home court or not. Like you said, we went to Lipscomb last year and won the championship. That was a hard thing to do. So other teams are going to come in here and try to try to play and win just like we are. I know you guys talk about team basketball a lot here, but personally, where do you think your game is and how it's grown really in the last few weeks more so than ever with how you're shooting the ball? Uh, I would just say, I, I told somebody this, it just sticks to my routine. Um, even though I wasn't shooting the ball well in the beginning of the season and when I came back off of my injury, it was I was still doing the, the daily habits that I that I do today. Um, I try to continue those, keep them up, shoot before and after practice. Um, and I just, I just think that that's what's got my shot going right now, that and then just confidence. I know you guys are all very competitive and you obviously play the game of basketball to win, but is there a little bit more fun? Do you like the extra pressure of the win or go home? type of games? Yeah, I, I think those are fun to play in. Uh, I think especially last year, it was one of those things where it was just who was the hungrier team? And that's something that they said yesterday was, are we going to be the hungrier team going into this, even though we're the number one seed? Um, and I think for us, we just got to continue to go in there and fight. Do you feel like teams have maybe played you any differently? here down the stretch, knowing what you're capable of? Uh, no, I haven't noticed anything. I mean, they just stick to their game plan and, and go with it. But I thought Lipscomb did a pretty good job, but I think that the other guys on the team did what they had to do and uh, stepped up.